there's a lot of reasons why people feed, but I think one of the most important reasons is it's a very, very peaceful, emotional experience. You put the food out there, you spend time on your deck in the nice weather. In the winter, you're indoors watching the birds from the perspective of outdoors in the winter, and you never know what's going to show up. So there's always activity. Most of the yards around here can easily get 30 different species of birds in their backyard. I didn't know that it's the second largest hobby in, in America. Yes. So what's 52 the first, by the million way? people. Gardening's the first, backyard bird feeding second, and they pretty much blend into each other. It's a lot of fun just because um, you see the individuality of each of them. Like the little invasive species around here, like the house sparrow and the European starling. The cat bird that we saw will eventually migrate back south, more towards Florida and the, the islands and stuff, just like the hummingbird. Uh, the robins will leave too, but things like the blue jays, cardinals, goldfinches, woodpeckers, they're here all year. You mentioned about young families moving in and starting the hobby, so we can say now that the age range for... Uh... Anywhere from, I say, the 20s to 80 year olds, all in between. We spend a lot of time too also with the schools because a lot of school teachers have uh, environmental programs and they've set up habitats in their schools to teach the young kids about the birds, the species, the nesting, and, and how to attract them. It's so important to just spend that time in nature, being outdoors, uh, listening to the birds, getting up in the morning. If you just look up, you'll see tremendous amounts of things.